Hi, today we are going to see few tips and tricks in Google Chrome browser. Most of us spend time in web browsers, especially on Google Chrome, and these are going to make us more efficient and productive. Let's check them out. Groups of tabs can be created now in Google Chrome. To move tab to the different position, you were used to simply click on the tab and drag it to the position where you want it to be. But now you can create groups of tabs as per your requirements. To do so, you need to select the tabs you want in the group. For example, if you want to add first three tabs in a group, then just simply press shift key from the keyboard and select each tabs you want to be in the group. But you feel that one more tabs need to be added, then you need to press control key and select the tab. So now we have four tabs selected to be added in a new group. We can right click on any of these selected tabs and select add tabs to a new group option which will open a prompt where you can name your group. Let me give it a name, for example, personal. Below you can see different colors to identify it easily. Let's go with the blue one. Down below, there are a few different options like you can add a new tab to this group. You can ungroup everything. You can close the entire group and maybe you want to move this group to a different new separate window. Over here, on the group name, we can collapse the group. Just click on the title which will collapse all the tabs. We can expose the tabs again by just clicking the group name. Later if you want to add any new tab into this group, just select the tab and drag it into the group and it will become the part of the group. For any reason, if you don't want that tab in the group, you can easily select that tab and drag it out from the group. Do you know that you can move tabs easily within your browser just with the help of control and shift keys? Let's say if you want to move first four tabs somewhere else, just select the first tab, press the shift key and select the last tab. Now select any tab from those four tabs and move them to the end. Now if you want to move only YouTube and Casotac page at the starting, all you just need to do is select both the tabs along with pressing control key. Now you can select these tabs and move them to the starting. You can now manage your audio and video playback directly from Google Chrome. Previously, if we were playing any song in YouTube or SoundCloud, then we need to jump to that particular tab and pause and play the video. But now it's a lot easier. On the top right corner, we have an icon to control the music or videos. When I click on this, here I can pause and play again. We can switch to the next track or jump to the previous track. If I want to switch to another tab but wanted to keep watching the video, then I can simply select picture in picture option which will launch this video in its own window and I can switch from one tab to another tab easily and can watch the video along. Now if you have multiple tabs that are generating sounds, maybe if you are listening to the music and also watching any show, when you click on this option, let's say manage audio, you will see different tabs which are generating sounds where you can control them by using options associated with them which makes it a lot easier to manage your music and video playback. You can now mute tabs so that you don't hear any sounds from them. Let's say I am here on a site reading random stuff, but it also have a video which automatically starts playing due to which I lose focus on the reading. So I will go to the tab where you will see a speaker icon. Just right click and select mute site. It will mute all the audios from this site and you can focus on your reading. Do you know Chrome has its own task manager like Windows or Mac where you can see how much memory or CPU your tabs are taking. To access this, you just right click on the blank area on the Chrome here where you will see the task manager option. This will open the Chrome task manager where you can see different tasks which are currently running. You can see how much memory, CPU, network it is consuming along with the process ID. Many times it happens that your browser feels to slow down. And that is not due to Chrome, instead it might be the fault of one of the tabs which is open. Let's say this page is consuming a lot of memory and CPU. So you can just select the tab and click and process at the bottom, which will close the tab and will free CPU utilization and memory the tab might be consuming. You can open tabs which you use frequently in Google Chrome to get easy access. Let's say we have a YouTube channel Geek Ash which shares some good tech related stuffs and I visit this channel quite often. 
Just right click on the tab and select pin option to pin the tab. Its size get reduced and get fixed on the top left side on the Google Chrome browser. I can jump to the different tabs but I can always see my pin tab on the left hand side which is easy to access. Even if you close the Google Chrome and again open it, you will see your pin tab to access it easily in the future. Do you know that you can use Google Chrome browser as a calculator? Surprised right? Let's check how. Open the browser and go to the address bar where you enter the website name you want to visit. Let's add two numericals, for example 256 and 345. And here you will get the result. Let's take another example, what will be the value of pi? Go to the address bar and type 22 by 7 and here you can see the output. Google Chrome has an inbuilt calculator which can complete any calculation and generates the output instantly. So these were few tips and tricks which can be helpful to you. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more these types of videos. Take care. Bye.